class, this is Dr. Swanberg. I am showing you how to work in Criterion and how to get your work in and out of Criterion um, and how to uh, use Criterion's feedback as effectively as possible. Once you've signed up for Criterion, uh, you simply click on the class, that's these blue linked letters over here, and you open it up and you click immediately on Assignment. Once you find the assignments, you'll see the narrative body paragraph and you click on Start Response. You'll see that there are instructions here for what I expect you to do, and then you scroll down and you find the workspace. The next thing you do is copy and paste your work from your computer onto your workspace. In order to copy and paste, you bring up the, the electronic copy that you have and you select it. Then you can either right click and choose copy or you can hit control C. Then you go back into your browser, click in the space and click control V or right click and choose paste. At this point a document box will appear and it asks you to click paste again. And at that point, your work is in this little bo dialog box and you click OK. This means that your work is now in Criterion. You can work on it for a little while before you click Submit or you can run a spell check. This one doesn't have any spelling issues. Oh, it does have some spelling issues. So we're going to take a look at these. We're going to change that to didn't and say OK. and then we're going to click ignore and we're going to click ignore and then we're going to change that to F and spell check is complete and then what we're going to do is we're going to click submit clicking submit is the only way to get Criterion's help with your editing you can submit up to five times when you do this you're going to get a score uh, out of six and it says it lacks focus and all this stuff, you just ignore this. Don't pay any attention to it. It may even say it couldn't have scored yours because it wasn't an essay. Ignore that as well. What you want to do is click on assignments, click on attempt number one or your most recent attempt if you've worked on it more than once and then scroll all the way down. Don't even look at any of this. Just scroll all the way down and click revise and then click OK. Then when you scroll down you'll see that you have a split screen. You have a screen that says what your errors might be and then you have a screen where you can correct them. Let's take a look at what my spelling errors are. It says I didn't know and then there's the AKAs. Okay, So we need to go over here and find the didn't and take off the extra T and even better get rid of the contraction altogether. Then we want to go to the other AKAs. When you have an acronym like this it's best to put an apostrophe to make it plural and that should take care of that problem. I have another didn't down here that needs to be taken care of. So let's look for that. So I look down and I'm trying to find it. It's a few lines up and there's my didn't. And again, I'm going to get rid of the contraction altogether and write did not. While I'm at it, I'm going to look for other contractions and get rid of those as well. Okay? So I'm going to scroll through, scroll through, scroll through. And it looks like I've taken care of them all. So I can go back up and then I'm going to look and see what my missing commas were. Okay, and you scroll down and it said she would call out your grade in front of everyone no matter how bad it was and they're right, I do need a comma there. So I add that comma. She would give out progress reports and if our parents did not sign it she would call them and take off points. See now here we have an extra comma. And Criterion wanted a comma where there did not need to be one, but it didn't tell us about this other comma. So what I did is instead of just blindly putting a comma here, I read my sentence out loud and made sure that my commas were in the right place. 
then you scroll back up and you make sure that you take care of all of the things here. I've looked at my three spelling mistakes and my two commas, and I've looked at my usage errors next. So it says determine or noun agreement. We'll see what that means here in a second. It says she gave so many F's that the principal got involved. Now that sounds fine to me, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone. Remember, it's your job to be smarter than criterion. Once I think I've taken care of all of these, I go ahead and click Submit again. And the process begins again. Go back to Assignments. Click on Attempt number 2. Scroll all the way down and click Revise. And then you have your split screen again. Now it's telling me I have two mechanics errors, one in spelling, which is AKAs. Now it doesn't understand what AKA is, so that's just really not a worry. And then let's see that missing comma. It still wants one after reports, but there's this phrase right here that needs to be between commas, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. In grammar, I'm clear. So at this point, I'm feeling very clear, and I'm ready to copy and paste into a Word document. So I copy from the area where I'm allowed to revise, and I again click Control-C. At that point, I use my Start menu to open up a Microsoft Word document, and I paste it. Now this is not in the format it needs to be in, so what I do is I format it. And this is what you want to be in your header, and you want your header to be single spaced. To get your line spacing, click on this button and choose Single, 1.0 for Single, and then here we're going to select it and check 2.0 for double spacing. We're going to make sure this is indented and then we're going to select all and choose Times New Roman font. 12 point font. And now it is formatted correctly. Well, we're going to double check that this is single spaced. Single spaced. It is. The other thing that you may need to do to get that to single space is remove the space after a paragraph. And now it looks right. Now we have followed MLA format, and the paragraph is ready to copy and paste into Blackboard. So once again, you select your work, you click Control C, or you right click, and then you go to Blackboard. Here we are in the Blackboard page, and you go to Graded Work and then click on Essays. You get to the narrative body paragraph and you read the instructions and when you're ready to copy and paste you click on the narrative body paragraph words to open your workspace. You click on Write Submission to open the workspace and when it appears then you paste your work in and you can see that it's copied my formatting as well. When you scroll down, all the way down, you click on the button that says Submit, which is hard to see in this recording, but it's down in the right-hand corner. And you click Submit, and then you've turned in that assignment. You can turn it in as many times as you need to, so you can write another submission and try it again. Um, just make sure it's in there before Thursday, before the due date. The due date for your class and the number of points the assignment is worth both appear at the top. Remember not to save as draft, but to click Submit, because saving it as a draft doesn't allow me to see it. If you have any questions about this assignment, please click on the button Email My Instructor and send me your emailed question.